Hey guys, it's Robo13, and um, in this video I'm going to show you how to jailbreak the new 4.2.1 firmware uh, on all devices. And see, I just restored my iPod Touch 4G um, to the newest firmware, and I'll show you right here. I am in 4.2.1. Right there, and I'm gonna show you how to jailbreak it. Okay, so what you need to do well, first off, this jailbreak will do tethered. Your device will be tethered if you have an iPhone 3GS, the new boot ROM, the iPhone 4, the iPad, the iPod Touch 2G, MC model, the iPod Touch 3G, or the iPod Touch 4G. And tethered means that when you turn it off all the way. You won't be able to turn it back on unless you use a program that will boot it, um, boot it tethered. So, and I will show you a program that can do that. If you have one of these devices, the iPhone 3GS old boot ROM, the iPhone 3G, or the iPod Touch 2G non-MC model, then you have you'll have an untethered jailbreak for this um, firmware, which will be good for you guys. So. Okay, and what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to come to the Dev Teams blog. And download the newest version of uh, Red Snow. And after you do that, you will get it, and it'll be right All right. Oops, sorry. Once you download it, you'll get it right here, and just unzip it, and then you'll get this. It's uh, Red Snow 0.9.6 Beta 5. Okay. And you're also going to want to go to this website. I'm sure you've seen it before. If not, it will be in the uh, video description. And you're going to want to come down here and download your version of the newest firmware, the 4.1 or 4.2.1. So if you're using the iPod Touch 4G, you're going to want to download that right there. Any other device, just download the 4.2.1 version, and then let that download. And then when you do, it will be in this type of format right here IPSW so that's what you're going to want to use you're going to want to use Red Snow and that firmware okay so once you get Red Snow up and running you're going to click on it and it's going to tell you to browse for your IPSW so you want to browse and find that one that you just downloaded for your device mine's the iPod Touch 4 on the 4.2.1 firmware and click open I'll say processing firmware all right I it was successfully identified just click next. And we'll do this little thing. Okay. Then you're gonna want to click install Cydia. And if you have uh, different devices, will have different things on here. So you can just click whatever you want. You're gonna want to install Cydia no matter what, though. Um, if you, I'll enable battery percentage. Doesn't really matter to me. And that's all I can do. So I'm gonna click next. Now it says please please make sure your device is off and plugged into the computer. Okay, so I have it plugged in, but now I'm going to turn it off. Okay. Okay, so it's off, and it's plugged in. And only click next when your device is both off and plugged in. So now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to set this down. I'm going to show you guys exactly what I'm doing, okay? So now, after you do that, you're going to want to click next. Now there's going to be a certain amount of steps that you're going to have to do. What it's going to say is you're going to hold the power button, which is the corner, for three seconds. And you're going to hold the power button and the home button, which is the uh, center button, for ten seconds. Okay. And then you're going to release the power button and keep holding the home button. Okay. Now to do that, it should come to this, and it'll say it's uh, jailbreaking. Upload in the first stage, waiting for reboot. Now there's my iPod. It's uh, you right there. Downloading jailbreak data. It says rebooting, and then it says right here. Uh, it's a tethered device, which means that you have to reboot it just tethered. And I'll show you how to do all that. So right here, this is just downloading all the information, all the jailbreak files. Um, and you're gonna let that do that. Okay, 
Now it's just installing the applications. Okay, so then after it uh, does all that, it's going to reboot your iPod or your iPhone or whatever device you're using. This will take a little bit. And it, it might look like it got stuck on that pineapple um, uh, phase of the iPod, but just leave it. Don't touch anything. Don't uh, undo the USB or anything like that. Just leave it and let it do its thing. See, now it rebooted. Okay, slide to unlock. And now, there's Cydia. Okay, so yeah, it's a white box. Don't worry about that. It will change back into a regular Cydia. So I gotta type in my uh, Wi-Fi password and then I'll be right back. Okay, now that I got Wi-Fi, if you, so you might find that if you try and go to Cydia and use it, it's just gonna keep doing this. It's gonna like load and then exit out really quick. What you're gonna have to do for the tethered uh, devices, you're gonna have to go back into Red Snow, okay? So I'm gonna exit out of this, go back into Red Snow. Redo all of this, so browse, use that, okay, next. This is what I mean when you have the tethered devices, how you have to reuse it. So you're going to come in here, unclick everything, and then just click the just boot tethered right now, okay? So you're going to click that, then click next, okay, and then it's going to tell you to turn your device off again. I'm sure it's a pain in the butt, but it's worth the jailbreak. So then slide the power off. So that's that's powered off. And now I'm gonna set this down again and show you guys exactly what to do. Then I'm gonna click next. I'm gonna hold on the power button. Hold on the home button. Now release the power button, hold keep holding in the home button. Okay, now this is waiting for iPod Touch. Uploading first stage, waiting for reboot. So now it should be a white screen and then you should see a pineapple icon and it should be done. So all that means is that when you turn it off or try to use, um, if you turn it off, you, can, you might be able to turn it back on, but you won't be able to use any jailbroken applications such as Cydia or anything that you've downloaded until you uh, reboot it as a tethered um, device. So just go into Red Snow and re and do it again just like I just did right then. And it'll uh, reboot. Slide to unlock. You can go over and now see Cydia is now regular and now I can use it. I'm saying installing file system. Or initializing, sorry. Okay, go back in here, reopen it, the uh, developer, done, okay, so now it's going to be downloading all the stuff and you're in Cydia, there you go. Um, so if you guys have any questions, then just let me know, uh, just remember if you do have a iPhone 3GS new boot ROM, iPod or iPhone 4, iPad, iPod Touch 2G, MC model, iPod Touch 3G, or the iPod Touch 4G, you will have to uh, reboot it as a tethered device every time you turn it off until uh, the new untethered version comes out. All right.